<clears throat> Good morning, you guys. Listen, had to get on uh, this morning. Just finished a great parent-teacher conference for the Butterscotch Child. And so I'm on my way to work and am inspired. I'm, I'm still on this move, move message God gave me yesterday. I've been really, literally moving according to his instructions, his guidance, um, especially this weekend, just listening to the, the voice of God, um, not understanding why, <laughs> you know, because when we get out of our routine um, and go to a new place that we don't know of, we're kind of apprehensive and uncomfortable. And so what I'm learning, just as I'm moving, as God instructed, first of all, to move, like when God told Abraham to move and take his family and just go to a land that he would show him, that required a lot of faith, uh, uh, immediate obedience, uh, being comfortable with being uncomfortable. And so that's what I'm learning right now. Just the words uh, that I've received over the last uh, couple of days through sermons, through keynotes from Joy and James. I'm still uh, festering on that. And also a uh, revival sermon from last night. Um, move. You have to move on when and wh uh, what God has told you to do. And so when we think about move, the, the official definition is to go into a specific direction or manner. So uh, to cause a change from one opinion, state, or activity to another. And so some of us, God is telling to move because our opinions are not of him. Uh, our activities are not what he wants them to be. Um, where we are physically and geographically is not going to produce what he has predestined for uh, us to have. And so when he tells you to move, you need to move. Uh, I'm one of analytical. I know as growing up, I used to ask why, why, why? They used to get me in trouble all the time. Why? Because I had to know. But some things you're not going to know. So when God tells you to move, even though it's uncomfortable, even though you're going to a place that he does not know, even though he's going to change your opinion, your mindset, and even your activity that you've been comfortable with, I encourage you to move when he says move. And I told you yesterday I was going to have an active uh, an acronym for move. But before I get to that, so I, I just want to, some people, I'm led to say some people do not move because... We're not focused on God's mission. And in order for you to move in faith, obedience, and trust, you got to be mission-minded on what God has called you to do. Some of us are out of order, and we like being out of order. But if you are always saying, I trust God, God is going to manifest, this is my year, God is not going to put his blessings on anything that's out of order. I saw on Facebook uh, a quote that says, would you put your money in a vending machine that says out of order? You wouldn't because you're not going to get anything out of it. So why would God put his blessing, his anointing, his favor uh, in you when you're out of order? Not going to happen. So that's why some of us don't move because we're not mission minded and we're out of order. But I encourage you at this season, this is the month of the harvest. And I know I'm ready to get everything that God has in store for me that I've planted seed in and that he's ready to bring. So get in order. First Corinthians 1440 says, let everything be done, be done in decency and in order. And I know some Bible scholars higher than me are going to say, oh, Paul was talking to the prophets when they're going to prophesy. All that. I know that. I know scripture, but a scripture is a scripture and can be applied to everything. God is a God of order and decency. And so in order for you to move, and move in trust and obedience and faith, you're going to have to be decent and in order and so that you can experience your harvest. So, like I said yesterday, y'all know I'm one of acronyms. So what does it mean to move? When you move in trust and obedience and immediacy in God, you're going to M, manifest opportunities and victories that have external evidence. 
it's all about external evidence we can have you know the internal and say all we want to uh that god is going to shower me with grace and blessings and favor he's uh, this is my year but if nobody sees the external evidence they're going to start questioning what kind of god do you serve because god is one of evidence and it's not for you it's for those who need to believe in him so when you move when with trust and obedience and immediacy you're going to m manifest opportunities and victories that have external evidence all right i love you i gotta go to work hi pastor dion lashonda Rhonda. love you guys hi mar mcintyre i need to talk to you uh all right you have a terrific tuesdays and remember move so you can manifest opportunities and victories that have what external evidence love you guys have a great day